Welcome back to the second half of the debate. We'll take off from where we left off. Uh, Amit Bab, you were saying, and then we'll, yeah. we'll do this from you to here. Yeah. The, I want to refocus the narrative yeah. on the fact that, you know, voters, people in the constituencies, the support system of all these MLAs, we need to look at look at them and the role that they're playing because if defections are continuing again and again, people are leaving parties and going back and are very confident of winning elections again. Yeah. Uh, it obviously means that there is some kind of a support. I'm talking no, not yeah, everybody wins elections. Just to stop, yeah. the, they are not confident of winning elections again. Who the people who are who Defected. are shifting sides? No, but the point is there are some, there, are, there are some who will win. For some, instance, some, some, for instance, some. a Digambar Kamath will always win. A Vishwajit Rane will always win. A Michael Lobo will always I'll, win. I'll, I'll give you one yes. example. Yes, I'll give you one example of Mandre constituency, hmm. Hmm. which was represented by none other than Advocate Ramakan Khala hmm. for consecutive 25 years. Okay, and most of the time he was in opposition. Hmm. Still, people were voting for him. Hmm. Means the voters' mindset at that particular time was that we are electing a leader hmm. who is intellectual enough to fight against the government. Hmm. Hmm. Right. That was the mentality. Now coming to this era, last 10-15 years, people are only looking at the pe person as a deliverer. Hmm. Deliver. Who delivers? What? Jobs money for their personal uh, this one correct i'll give you one example hmm. last one week morji manre agarwad and parse area was dried up hmm. because of some uh, pipe burst somewhere somewhere that jit arolkar mla of manre was supplying a tanker water you will believe to everybody to everybody from his pocket hmm. from hmm. his pocket hmm. he told me are baba tanker how dita mara man bolalo otherwise they will not vote this people's expectation are so at low level. So you don't expect a miracle and, and unless and right. until this voters education or the strengthening of the grassroots democracy hmm. by any some agency or something. We don't expect a miracle to happen. It will bound to happen. They only look at who will deliver. That's all. And the same hopes that they earlier had with a the punch they now have with an MLA or even yeah. with an MP. Yeah, yeah. Correct, correct, yeah. correct. Whether, whether you are with the Congress, BJP, um, it doesn't matter. They will only look at the face. No, which now obviously brings back to another question. Yeah. And this is where money comes in. Yeah. Earlier on, an, an MLA, MLA would spend an X amount and win, whatever yeah. he had to win. Yeah. But now it seems that during the five-year tenure, yeah. the MLA has to spend at least five to six times or ten times what he spent during elections also. Yeah, yeah, continuous. You have to hmm. recurring expenditure hmm. from hmm. where the money will come. Hmm. That is the question. That's and that ultimately leads to corruption. Power. Correct. That's why they are shifting towards powers. I don't think this BJP has engineered this defection. It is from the Congress only. They does it and uh, they got a ready-made everything. Yes, one thing that most of the MLAs are saying, whether you look at Sankal Pamunkar or Rudolf or everybody, everybody had one standard, like almost like a, like a standard syllabus type answer. We are going for development. I mean, it's almost like a reflex action. That's the best thing to say whenever you're doing it. But the point is, what one what also knows that in many of these constituencies, they are genuinely saying a lot of work is not getting done, it's getting stopped. So my point is, is the BJP government deliberately not, not kind of funding or supporting opposition uh, constituencies so that they come under pressure and, 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 and commit this kind of acts? See, I, I will, uh, you know, first come to what Avid Bab said, hmm. I fully agree with him, and hmm. I had said it on a debate also before hmm. election that political parties will not uh, you know bring about a change in what kind of candidates that they give hmm. uh, people, political parties will always prefer to give candidates who can get elected hmm. because they are in the game to win it hmm. so if you want a you know change in the kind of political leaders then I think people will have to bring about that change hmm. the voters will have to bring about change hmm. and in, in, when you talk about a political party, I think it is not, uh, uh, you know, I mean, it is not our job to determine who is uh, guilty, not that, that's court's job. But sometimes, you know, when you get elected in the people's court, I think that, that also, I mean, unless people show zero tolerance to, you know, uh, for, you know mm. the, the police record or corruption, until then nothing is going to change. So the change will have to start from the people. 
as far as the development part is concerned i mean you look at i mean before bharat chodo yatra happened of the congress you look at which is the biggest agitation they have done hmm. was uh, gandhi is being called for ed investigation i mean if you start reducing your mlas to such puppets you know where they are actually talking about one family being questioned and where there is prima facie evidence i mean this is what the court has said they are out on bail i mean tomorrow you can say that we we also believe the judiciary is compromised this is compromised so when it comes to you everybody seems to be compromised so i think unless they get out of that and sometimes what happens is you know when you are in the congress or when you are in the opposition that constant Uh, you know, uh, tendency to oppose also uh, affect your relationship. Mm. So everybody, I think it's also that you know mm. when you are in the ruling party, there is always a lar- larger support. So what what I am trying to say is because otherwise, you know, th- th- there would be no need to you know after elections everybody should come together and run the government. It does not happen that way. So I believe, you know, the the first primary primary mm. thing is you know there are the funds are always limited, and I think if your party will always get a preference i mean that is by default i mean you tell me any other party which has given preference to opposition constituencies before the not preference there seems to be this universal feeling amongst opposition mlas that unless we are in the ruling party we our constituency will not not get funded and fed see i mean you look hmm. at uh, even before mr babush monsara joined hmm. you look at taligao hmm. i mean you or you look at panji from hmm. 2019 also hmm. so i firmly believe that you know it is not about it is not about somebody wanting to be in the party see wherever there are projects i believe they are getting done but yes i mean it is much easier hmm. to you know uh, to get your work done when you are in the very ruling party and that's a universal fact and till now congress has been using and abusing the tool today when people are moving towards the bjp they are trying for yes we are but mind is one also also has to look at the constituents they are the constituents they are they are goans they are they are locals they are sons and daughters of the soil why should they be deprived of development because they have chosen an opposition leader okay, and i mean if we can come to any specific project mm. which mm. you believe mm. you know which may have not come up or which may have been stopped because it is in the opposition party no, i, I, I no i am look, looking at the straws in the wind because every mla who has defected or come to the bjp is saying this no but it is very easy to mm. say that mm. see actually speaking mm. uh, they are shifting with the hope of power mm. being a minister first mm. maybe a corporation chairman mm. and thirdly being part of this contract system possibly even in this development mm. i don't think it is anything more than that but the argument that is given is our constituency is not getting developed correct that's i don't i don't i don't okay. buy this at all at all, okay. at all. <coughs> put him up uh, your your development hmm. if you take goa hmm. anything done for last 10 years how many industries are closed hmm. any new industry has come at least one today we are only on casino hmm. and drugs no other you show me any industry last at least 3 4 years more than 150 industries were closed if you take now all mining has closed it is not going to give up because they have got personal interest mm. and then the vested interest is there that issue doesn't get resolved if it is for the cause of the state cause of the people then it will get solved where is the development to these are only for the argument to safeguard their interest those persons who have left the parties hmm. only for to hmm. show the people that de- for development we are going you show me any development you have seen the roads hmm. earlier roads how, how the roads were there and now what are the conditions of the road where is the money they have got any fund even they don't have the fund to pay the salaries how much loan we have today it is more than 25000 crores So these are the facts. So you are saying the word development is a bogey. bogey they, exactly. Uh, to, that's and you see the you see the inflation. No, but you now, see the inflation. Now, 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 now saying that you can wake up somebody who is actually asleep, not somebody who is pretty. Now, now so they. That, that's the case no, no, no. with Kutub. So I will not even try. Now they are saying a new thing. Hmm. They are saying we want to strengthen the hands of um, Narendra Modi. No, that they are of course saying. <laughs> this is the latest. <laughs> Until just a quick response to this question. See, there are two issues. One is that ultimately. voters and supporters and others the compromise starts from there 
the the whole issue of either you call it greed or desire or whatever starts from there development in constituencies are either not happening or people are moving there for a better life politics has become all about that can you say say this from the, your own experience in your area i was i was in the opposition when i first uh, got elected yes uh, manohar parikar was the chief minister hmm. i was also under a lot of pressure hmm. to uh, join bjp at that time hmm. but it's uh, it's your ethics and your character you have been voted on a certain party you have to stick to that party hmm. now development was done it was slow hmm. so you don't expect you don't expect even in the ruling side all the ruling constituencies not develop uh, fully hmm. even there there will be some uh, this. so hmm. that the development bogey is just uh, hmm. just that right i mean uh, it just uh, talk this excuse to go that side also also don't you don't you think that for a particular mla the mla is also under pressure because what has happened is you have the you have the different panchayats to take care of yes. you have 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 people in in the different wards to take care of you have other political compulsions there the point here is that until and unless you listen to all of them all of them will come back come back come back to you and and ultimately tell you that look we we don't mind which party you go to but but make sure that we are we are in this whole power game now this is being played out in constituency of the constituency this change you know when mm. i first got elected mm. i spent believe me just 7 lakh rupees when i first got elected 7 mm. lakh rupees and nobody was expecting money from me mm. none of the people took money from mm. me now when these other players came and casino money came started flowing in <laughs> now everybody is expecting 2000 3000 rupees everybody has taken that's why the uh, mla also get and 2000 rupees per vote per vote mm. sometimes it's even more and this mla also get and ball nobody's got the guts to ask him why are you going that side because his blood paid for your vote hmm right paid almost every vote and last election we were going around with tmc and people have taken money from tmc people have taken money from bjp people have taken money from congress so nobody has got the right to ask these people that's a very important thing so that you said ek us yeah. ne what is one point hmm. ki a lot of development also depends on the mla For example, I mean, I'll give. If you want, I'll give my our own example. Hmm. Carlos was there in uh, Vasco for two terms. Right. But if you look at the some of the issues that Daji has been able to take up within hmm. six months, hmm. it, it's it's a whole lot of difference. I mean, be it the height of the bridge or any other issue, you know. So I think sometimes it's also how much interested the the the, the MLA is and how much interested it's it's it's, it's across opposition. Hmm. So I mean, I remember you know when Parikarji was defence minister. He had spoken about uh, KTR, for example. Yes, yes. He correct. said every time KTR comes to me, hmm. he says he tells me this is the problem. I ask him what what is to be done. He says this is solution A, solution B, solution C. So he said even when he is in the opposition, you know the approach that he has, and he is relentless with his followers. Hmm. Hmm. So it is not that you know opposition's work does not get done. Like Agarwal Bab actually rightly said that even some some of the not all ruling. Oh, uh, constituencies also sometimes get the same treatment. It's also about how much initiative. That you take. I'll tell you two examples hmm. where just because you have a good MLA does not mean you will win. Ganesh Gaukar in Sawar Day. I mean, he was so approachable. The amount of work he has done, and second was Subhash Bharat. Hmm. But right. what happens is sometimes you know, I mean, people start taking good governance for granted. He says MLA will be good. Prasad Gaukar was a disaster. Right. So, You know, so so I I think, you know, people also should realize that you know they they have to get a person who is able to get his constituency higher, not just do you know my work per se. Right. Uh, okay. Now uh, a question. Now, I mean, unless you have a point to then I'll no, switch, no, no. switch I, the I topic. No, no. I wanted to add yes, to yes, Bagrej's yes, point. Yes, yes, please, please. See, you are talking of the past. Hmm. I have to also make a mention of. Two individuals, hmm. Nathpai and Madhu Dandavati. Madhu Dandavati hmm. was getting elected there yeah, correct. Again, every again. time. Every time the constituency actually suffered. Yeah. Hmm. Nothing was getting done, but people were electing him and electing him and electing him from Rajapur. Because that was the past. Hmm. Rajapur constituency. Rajapur. Yeah. Yeah. That was the past. Hmm. And now we are in a different atmosphere, totally. Like uh, I would, I would say, I would not name. I would say, in certain constituencies. drinking problem is high because the mla is promoting it because the people are moving who are moving with him such a large number regularly so let us not name so that drinking is problem it's a, yes yes hmm. i would say in hmm. certain areas hmm. Hmm. certain areas okay but uh, that is how but uh, the point is that uh, we we people are also responsible because we have tolerated this for too long right right we have also not seen 
this character of the persons who get elected right but uh, we will i will say as i i am only repeating at least in goa this is a problem of us being small small constituencies small numbers problem of being small okay last uh, last round let us kind of go back to where we began from see ultimately the i would say the party that needs to seriously look at its future right now in goa is the congress okay yesterday when the three mlas who did not go hmm. okay they they said look we are the knights in shining armor and we have we have you know we've done you know great work and we can look at our children with a lot of honor when we look at ourselves in the mirror we know that we have not gone let us start with one idea do people really have faith that the congress even these three mlas are going to remain remain intact that is one point hmm. secondly sometimes when you lose everything you have nothing to lose so you only gain hmm. does the congress have the have the strength to do that these hmm. are two questions and, and the question will remain the same for everybody how to chapo ali ani ek prashna che re everybody talk about the development hmm. एक एम एल ए जाप मे ते गटार प्लानिंग कर बिल्डिंगे प्लानिंग कर वॉटर सप्लाय प्लानिंग कर एजुकेशन प्लानिंग कर इज दीज एक्सपेक्टेड वेदर इट इज अ वर्क ऑफ एम एल एर इट इज अ वर्क ऑफ द ब्यूरोक्रेसी एम एल एल पॉलिसी डायरेक्शन नॉट नेसेसरी इन अ स्मॉल स्टेट लाइक गोवा इट कैन बी रन बाय ऑफिसर्स आई टेल यू नाउ कमिंग टू यू द कांग्रेस Congress three MLAs will remain with the Congress hmm. for certain period hmm. of time. They hmm. will not leave. But ये कसा कि Congress is a hot share जो आसा वहाँ तलो तो intact रहो तलो. It will remain intact. Right. But they should give. You a, feel that in the next elections, irrespective of what irrespective happens, irrespective they will they will they will, they will shine. They, they, people will support. No. They will shine again. By that by that you asking what you are actually saying is yeah. that in. Okay, I won't take the Margao example because that's yes. a different case. Yeah. Are you saying that in Nuwe Congress will win, in Murmuga Congress will yes, win? Yes, yes. Con- Congress, in, Congress uh, will Santa come Cruz back. In Congress Cong- will win. Congress will come back. Irrespective of who the yes, candidate. Yes, yes. Congress will come okay. back. Huh. But the question is, hmm. in another four years, hmm. they should work and give the credible leadership. Correct. That, 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 that is that is where the question is. That that, that is a question. Are they enough? The uh, they have to first give credible leadership to their party organization. Party organization. That, that, that is a question. That is the only issue because see that is that is yeah. what we are saying. Yeah. That is a big if. Yeah. Can they do that? That is that is the question. That is a question. Ha. Kira Jabab. Yeah. See, I think uh, I just wanted to hmm. you know, uh, add to what uh, Abhijit Bab said. Hmm. we also need to redefine or hmm. de- at least define what development means. Hmm. You know, I have often said in debates also. that you can do drainage you can do underground cabling you can do all ducts but a fountain at the end of the road will always get you more votes hmm. so how we look at development is one aspect and secondly coming to your question on congress i believe they need to do a serious introspection i mean as a, a student of politics you know not as a bjp spokesperson i believe a healthy opposition is always good for democracy hmm. and also good for the ruling party because hmm. it always keeps you on but you are not allowing the opposition to remain <laughs> <laughs> you are saying it but you are not letting <laughs> any opposition exactly. survive i think so. congress's biggest problem today huh. is that for everything that goes wrong with them they blame hmm. the bjp hmm. and i think you know see it's whether bjp should take its people or no but i think there is a inherent question which has not been answered but your party president today in a press conference he said that if left to me i wouldn't have engineered this or i wouldn't have allowed this to happen the directions came from the central leadership see, so there is a difference within the party also on, the, on this issue see i think uh, you know i mean there are a lot of i mean in, in like you brought out about karyakartas hmm. lot of karyakartas may, may not this is your party president no so, again what yeah. what he has said is that hmm. you know he may not have done it hmm. but again i mean that is hmm. what a core karyakarta is that you know when the direction came that it has to be done he he carried it out so hmm. i think that is bjp's core hmm. that you know they basically act once once the decision is taken it's it's one family i mean we may argue within the family also hmm. but you know once the decision is taken we go out and so i i personally believe that you know unless congress does serious introspection and figures out that why people are ready to leave why were people not leaving the bjp when we were in our, when we were not in power from 2007 to 
I think that is the question, and you know, I mean, and again, I'll come to another very important point: hmm. is that this whole, you know, uh, Pramod Patra and you know the Shapat that the all they took. BJP also had people. BJP also could have done it. We did not need any affidavit or any swearing before God to say that we are united. We have always said that, you know, we are. But you are united. completely okay to take people who went and. uh you know literally genuflected in front of gods and promised not to, to give and they're turning around and, and ultimately ultimately defecting what does it say say about your decision to take people I who are going to the gods and betraying people we have never gone to the people nor we have gone to the gods hmm. and said that we will not accept we hmm. have said that from time to time whatever is in the interest of standing the party we will do it and we have done that so and and secondly i mean you know we talk about this gods i think it's a very common practice where we you know we time time and time and again we go back and we seek uh, you know what is to be followed and it's a very very common practice in goa at least mm. let's not believe ourselves that it's it's something no, but when you promise that you'll never leave then you go back again <laughs> See, again i mean we never no, said that we, we will but so you know, so i think again this, this is the question so so, so digambar kamat going back to the gods and uh, filing a review petition <laughs> and 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 and, and uh, getting that accepted and <laughs> and based on so, that so, acceptance he comes he, he comes so, back and so, he says that what i said earlier is fine i i put it up for review and got accepted it <laughs> If, if a Supreme Court can, you know, overturn its own judgment, correct? Then I, so, I think you know, God the Supreme Court, Court can also do it. <laughs> so, you know, I, I, you know <laughs> when they when they do the swearing in, yes. when they do the swearing in, you remember in yes. in Kalangod or Anjuna Wagadhar, hmm. there are certain restaurants where they find a big board, hmm. no drugs allowed. You're right. You can be sure that there will be drugs there. Yeah, like in, normal restaurant will never put that board. Thailand also no prostitution is allowed. Yeah, so, <laughs> so when they went to swear, hmm. I was sure that these people are going to go go back. And this Congress fooled the people of Goa by taking the affidavit. When you know there is no value for the affidavit, hmm. Chidambaram was uh, showing the affidavit to everybody. Swearing is one thing. They took the affidavit. So basically, you already knew these people are going to go. And if you see, you have to doubt whether the leadership is there in this uh, sending the people there. Ask anybody in the Congress. The Sankalp Amonkar and Girish Chodankar are like husband and wife. Hmm. Okay. The, The, We should ask them also this. The night before, the hmm. night before Sankal uh, left, the uh, Mahila president's son was roaming with Sankal. So, is the whole leadership behind this move to send these people here? So, the credibility of the Congress is at stake. People, like he said, people will be with the Congress. People are with the Congress. A certain section will get disillusioned and will leave. A certain percentage will leave because people are fed up now. How long do they forgive Congress? Every time you all come back, say sorry and do the same. For the summary, like you, who's been with the Congress, suppose I mean hypothetically speaking. given a chance or uh, you know the opportunity or do you would you yourself go back to the congress and build it up as of today no hmm. i will not even think about it not with this crooks who are around now hmm. not with this gundu and gundu who are there here you cannot okay uh, put it up quickly <laughs> quickly <laughs> moving to you <laughs> <laughs> okay see so basically uh, uh, unless congress rebuild their leadership uh, hmm. not only in the state hmm. Hmm. also in the central hmm. and build their parties mm. strongly mm. then only it will survive otherwise people will not have faith in them mm. they will right. get diluted what they are now right. diluted in other country state also correct they are wiped out from punjab they are they will be wiped out similarly in other state also mm. because of this reason okay clear about uh, the last I, words i somehow uh, feel uh, that uh, uh, it all depends upon how they move further mm. like uh, now they have some bharat jodo yatra i feel that there is some traction there hmm. i also feel that uh, this goa incident is some sort of a optics against the bharat jodo yatra it may not be it may be i feel that the central uh, hmm. leadership has taken that quick decision as against to dump in that yes okay one Hmm. Number two, how they move ahead. That he himself also alluded to it. Uh, how they we, how, no no mystery. To how, how, they, how they <laughs> move ahead? How yeah. they move ahead? We do not know. Hmm. But according to me, if the leadership takes up seriously at the central level, Goa level, in Goa, if they see last time also, they did according to me exceedingly well. But we are looking at getting power. They did not get power. But my understanding is they did well. I I told him that they are coming back to power because of the anger against their government. But still, one to eleven was great, and uh, we thought they were coming to power. So that way, I 
feel that there is hope as bagre again pointed out it all depends on the organization how they how they function now hmm. but no way you come to election time 6 months before they'll have to work from now onwards four and a half years is long time but do you feel that trust factor is still there trust factor they have to build up they will have to bridge it as of now it is not there yes it is not it is, they have lost credibility hmm. they have they have to build up like last time hmm. when they said that we are not giving ticket to a single defector that itself brought them up Correct. so something but that turned out to be a lie i mean not not that itself no, no. it is not a trust factor no, no. there is no alternative hmm. see the, when i when i talk of trust factor i mean a narrative which they can sell to the people right. one at the central level also they require Hmm. because if if they lose himachal gujarat which are now i feel their downfall will be further fast yeah, well, quick no, no, point, yeah. i just want to make one, only one sure, point sure, sure. that i think when when global bar speaks about credibility i think congress has to first regain the credibility within itself hmm. you know instead of kong bharat jodo if rahul gandhi and ambar kon congress jodo i think it would have strengthened the organization so you know you can't gain credibility until you, you your own people are convinced that the party has the wherewithal or the credibility to take on the bjp and i think that is why the, the, their problems are internal and they need to work on that okay my last question uh, before i before i end is that you are looking at 2024 as a strategy does the bjp have no other strategy but to break other parties to strengthen itself <laughs> see ultimately you can break whoever you want but hmm. you can't go to people hmm. with that you hmm. know, ultimately you have to go to people 100%. based on your Correct. work Correct. You know, so i still believe hmm. that you know it is very important that we strengthen the party but we will win on our own and the good governance record of honorable prime minister okay we'll leave it at that i think the, some of the major takeaways is number one i would say that the people and the way our politics is becoming and the way our social life is becoming has a big role to play in the manner in which these defections happening because greed or the lust for power and benefits has gone into our very system secondly we know that bjp as a party will do anything that it needs to do to win 2024 at this point of time that the whole winner takes all is something that is driving the driving politics here irrespective of which shape it is taking the only thing is that bjp is honest about it and ruthless and absolutely ruthless about it the the third point and th that and that incidentally is not a crime at all they can they can do it and they are very clear about this thirdly the congress has been has been kind of reduced into a very pitiable position where there is a very limited trust factor and it needs to build on that trust because neither does it, does it have the leadership nor does it have the vision to do this ultimately there is a, there is obviously a sentimental congress feeling in many villages many people of a certain generation and, and others like the congress there is a feeling they can live with that hope that I mean that is the only little glow which they can expand on but they need to credibly to do it and what is most important is that many many have said that you have to have to build up your leadership from the grassroots and have genuine people to uh, to build your party up on this note i thank all my panelists uh, for thank a very know. insightful uh, debate and and discussion uh, and and bringing to light many of the issues that needed to be discussed thank you very much thank you genuine people huh? you have to build genuine people sure sure i was the people that